from Anchorage down to Homer and you're traveling on a Sunday, we have had no traffic, but the traffic coming back in the other direction, wow. Maybe uh, maybe start north and head south like we're doing. <laughs> well, everybody we talk to, it seems, is doing the reverse of what we're doing. So I think we're doing it in a weird way. Yeah, which we went seems to odd. Fairbanks first, and that's all. Everybody we've talked to went down to like Anchorage, Homer, and Seward. They did all that loop, the Kenai first. Yep. So I'm kind of happy we're doing it this way. I am too, because like the traffic just coming back this way has been insane. There's just there's so much of it, and we have had hardly any traffic heading down. Maybe because it's a Sunday, though. It's a lot of Alaskan points. True. That is true. Yeah. Go down to the Kenai for fishing for the weekend, I'm sure. Yeah. Especially since the salmon runs have started. Yeah, which they have just started recently, we were told. So, maybe that's it. Makes sense. But maybe then, since we're going to be down at Homer for, like, the beginning of the week, it won't be as busy. Fingers crossed. Those are fingers. <laughs> We are here. It looks very very tight in here, but uh, we are right basically on the water. Jeez, he was in there forever. But he's got paperwork in his hands, that's a good sign. How did that go? Huh? I said, how did that go? Fine. Oh. This is one we haven't paid for yet, so we actually have oh. to pay for it here. Gosh, I was I was like, uh, he's been in there a while. I don't know if they like lost our reservation, but um, we're staying here for four nights. And no fire ban. So yeah, we can have a fire. That's so we haven't cool. been able to this whole time. Site 74, do we have a... We go around and we're on the other side. Oh, I see, okay. Uh, which Map. I'm kind of sad about because our main windows won't be facing the ocean. Yeah, that's just what it is. I think we're going to be spending a lot of time walking around here. This path down here Yeah. to the beach. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say on that side. Okay. So that goes to the beach, which is nice. These sites actually look fairly low. It's a nice chain. Yeah, actually, it's big. Once you're down here, it's a little bit bigger than. Well, it was one I of saw. the few parts with big rig friendly. Yeah. No, this this is okay. Thank you, man. With your big old boat. Yeah, you can pass it. Yeah, there there is no sea to pass that. This Montana's got the view. Yeah, they got the prime spot right there. It's pretty epic. This is like not even fair. <laughs> well, you know, only one person gets that sight, obviously, so I think it's okay. First halibut fish and chips. Halibut on a stick. I'm literally eating a french fry while he's talking because I'm so hungry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks really good. That's oh. delicious. I'm gonna need that. <laughs> We didn't get much usable audio at the Salty Dog, but here's a clue on where our sticker is located. Don't forget to tag us if you find it. My hair is going to be insane. Besides the hair, we're getting us some oysters. We are getting some oysters, finally. Our first one's actually some hair. We didn't even have oysters in Washington. We didn't even have oysters in Washington. 
We didn't have them in Washington either. No, we didn't. That's true. We failed. Oh, I'm serious. Emily would be It was so good. Yeah, get more out of the wind. Yeah, thank you. It's just, I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. Like, it's so much better than even the ones that we had. The ones in Madison? Yeah. Just the freshness? Yeah. Oh, careful. Is there a seed on there? On oh, the, there yep. Right. Lemon seed. That was my bad. Tell me that's not the best thing you've ever had. That's really good. Holy cow. Very good. Oh. Yeah, we're gonna devour these now. Hey David, what are we doing? We're going on a cruise. We're going on a cruise. We're going to Seldovia. Yeah. So we are in Homer. We are on the Homer spit right now. And we're gonna take one of these charter boats out. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's a big rainbow boat. It's a big rainbow boat. We're not on the rainbow boat. We almost got on the wrong boat. <laughs> Same fleet. Same fleet. It's just not fun colored. Yeah. It's a nice boat. It's got a nice upper deck. to Saldovia. We did. We saw whales, sea otters, a lot we of birds, did. some puffins. It's an eventful wildlife tour. So far, yeah. I was so excited. I finally got to see whales. Yeah, so they gave us this nice map of Saldovia, of this massive city. I mean, I don't even know how you get around this place without a map. Oh, yeah. Totally. <laughs> to say I'm like everywhere's within walking distance what are you talking about so we're going to inside beach there is outside beach show them where on the map no put it up so like we started land here yep we land here and we just followed main street all the way on up and inside to... beach is 0. 0.7 miles from the boat Woo! so real close but nobody else followed us we were literally like the only people who came here and uh outside beach oh I guess distance right there 1.4 miles to outside beach okay but we'll see if we make it there or not. we might not go there because just wants a blueberry mojito <laughs> priorities in life <laughs> so incredible to see here. I wish the camera could pick it up a little better for you. It just, it, it's not doing it justice, but they are gorgeous. You think they're gonna find some sea glass? I don't know. No, I don't know if I've ever actually seen sea glass. So I'm not sure, I'm not sure what I'm looking for. 
is like my new favorite scavenger hunt. Like, find the sea glass. <gasps> you guys, look what I found. Sea glass. Oh. Yeah. I don't even know if it's like picking it up. I think there's more. Yeah, there's a lot of Oh man, look at that. That's so cool. Time for food. Trying to find the outside beach trail. So far we've walked Their down map. two different streets. Their map is very wrong. <laughs> But we think it's behind the school, which is kind of weird. So we're gonna we're gonna walk up to the school and see if we can find the trail. Well, <laughs> Otterbahn Trail. Which way do we go? Up or down? Go up, but I want to. the right way? Yeah, it's that way, because this is the start of it. We found the outside beach trail. It's up trail. It's behind the school. It is. You have to like basically walk into the school's parking lot. Outside beach. Is it worth it? I think it's worth it. It's really cool because you can see the, you can still see the mountains. The the volcanoes in the background. I have to say they're both worth going to. If you have the time, if you take the Rainbow Connection wildlife tour that we took. We have about two and a half hours of time. Right. We've already expended an hour, so we have about an hour and a half now. And um, there's a lot of like, you know, there's a lot of restaurants and little shops and stuff that you can go into. That's primarily where everyone else on our cruise is right now. Um, but we made it out to the beaches instead yeah. and there's a little here. Okay. I would highly recommend walking out to outside beach if you can. It's about one and a half miles one way from where you get off the ferry. Yeah, easy hike. Really easy but it, hike. the views are beautiful. You get both volcanoes, part of the ring of fire, and, and the whole inlet. And you can see some inlet. marine life. We've been watching an otter out here for a while. Definitely a worthwhile trip over to Seldovia. I think they do have a ferry as well, so you wouldn't necessarily have to do a wildlife tour. Right, you can just take the ferry over and spend as much time as you want in here. We hope you enjoyed this video. Join us next time as we continue our Alaskan adventures to Seward and Valdez. Don't forget to like and subscribe.